Uh, next question comes from African Twin on YouTube. That's a motorcycle reference, by the way. I had to Google it. Look it up yourself. <laughs> that sounded more aggressive than I wanted it to. Uh, oh, I need to hide this. Uh, African Twin on YouTube. Can I use a spunding valve, spunding valve, to replace my classic airlock? You're going to get some different takes on this. If you could be guaranteed that you are not going to have a blow off that may clog that spunding valve and create a dangerous pressure situation, both for the vessel you are fermenting in and maybe for the quality of your beer, uh, maybe you can. Uh, I know pressure fermentation is very big on the home side of things uh, these days. Uh, I do know that there can be a link between full-on pressure fermentation from beginning to end with yeast vitality and repitching. Um, and being that my lens is through the pro side, uh, repitching is an invaluable resource for us. Uh, so uh, I'll do anything I can to not risk yeast health. Um, and so when, when, when I spooned or bung, um, it will be with you know one to two points of Play-Doh left in fermentation. Uh, but that's going to be my number one concern, that if you are going to have blow off uh, from a safety standpoint, if you are going to have blow off uh, croising coming through, that I would be concerned about that actually plugging it up and creating uh, a dangerous situation with your fermentation vessel. And from the flip side is, is there's potentially yeast ramification sides as well when it comes to repitching and whatnot. There is obviously the uh, suppressed ester form fermentation uh, formation that uh, can come along with pressure fermentation. So there's some uh, variables to, man to manipulate. So, uh, yeah, that would be uh, my take on that African twin. Uh, 